Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm excited for this video and I hope you are too. I've been reminiscing a little and really daydreaming about going back to work ever since I left. I'm really hoping our industry can recover in 2021. And before you ask, no, I am not back to work yet. This video is from a year and a half ago in August of 2019 when I was a first officer. At the time of uploading this, I'm still currently laid off and I don't have any idea of when I'll be back. Since this is from 2019, our SOPs, which is our standard operating procedures, have changed since the recording. I will not be answering any specific questions about our procedures and everything you see is done with safety as a priority, so please be respectful of that. There are some missing ATC parts and because this was recorded on one of the older GoPros, which was a Hero 3, the quality isn't the best, but I tried making the most out of the footage. You'll see that I've edited out some parts as some of the GoPro files got corrupt when I tried uploading them to my desktop originally. You can still see some glitches here and there, but hopefully the video is still enjoyable. So now onto our flight. Today's flight is between Fort St. John in British Columbia over to Calgary International in Alberta, Canada. The flight is normally about an hour and a half or so. For this leg, I am the pilot flying and my captain is the pilot monitoring. On the ground, the captain is flying or in control and we do a transfer of controls before takeoff where I am now the one flying for this leg. We then transfer controls once more when we land and I resume my duties as the pilot monitoring on the ground. Since Fort St. John is an uncontrolled airport, the radio is a flight service station or FSS, so there is no air traffic control. The FSS advises us about surrounding traffic and provides us with any pertinent weather information. We receive our IFR clearance from the controlling IFR center via the flight service station, which you hear me receive shortly after we start up. Because it is an uncontrolled airport, we do not receive any taxi or takeoff clearances. Instead, we simply advise the traffic of our intentions on the mandatory frequency until we switch over to a controller once we're airborne. Then it's back to a controlled IFR environment with associated clearances. For today's flight, we're taking off runway 21 with a left-hand turn on departure to intercept our track. Enjoy the takeoff and I'll give you another update once we're in cruise. After start checklist, please. All right, after start, DC power. Uh, is off. Check. Ice protection. Uh, standard. Restrict fan. On. Bleeds. And on. Batteries. Check. Hydraulics. On and check. Flaps. Five. Flaps five set indicating. Elevator check. Air pressure check. Rudder travel. Ice checked. Nozzle steering. On. Yaw damper. On. Ox pops. On. Power setting. Reduced eighty three percent set. And transponder. Stand by. After check, this is complete. Check. You're clear, right? Fort St. John Radio, it's on core 3100. We're going to maneuver on the apron taxi alpha, or correction, taxi bravo planning departure off 21. On core 3100, Fort St. John Radio, good morning, Roger, runway 21, active runway 30, wind 320 at 10, gusting 17, altimeter 3012, traffic 14 miles to the northwest, inbound Cessna 206. Running right downwind, runway 30. Estimating a field in six minutes. They will monitor one two one decimal nine for clearance. Say again, uh, frequency. Sorry, say again. Say again, the frequency for clearance. One two one decimal nine for clearance. Check will monitor that. I'll call three one zero zero. Okay. Encore 3100, Fort St. John Radio, and 121 decimal 9 clear. Go ahead for clearance, Encore 3100. ATC clears Encore 3100 to the Calgary Airport via Fort St. John, direct roll out flight plan route, climb flight level 250, depart runway 21 in Squawk 406. Okay, uh, ATC clear, uh, clears Encore 3100 to the Calgary Airport via Fort St. John Airport, direct roll out flight plan route. Squawking uh, correction up to flight level 250, depart to runway 2 on squawking 4606. Are we back correct? Contact Fort St. John Radio 118.5 for further. Have a good day. Back over to radio. Have a good day. On core 3100.
good. All right, I have control. You're control. Ready. One core three one zero zero rolling one two one. Set power. Power set. V1, rotate. Pause break. Thank you. Alright, we'll turn now heading uh, east. Encore 3100, contact command center, 132 decimal 6. Yeah. Have a good day. 326, excuse me, Encore 3100. Let's get a pit set, pit hold, pitch hold, please. Pitch hold. Hey, landing gear is up, lights out, flaps zero. Climb power is set, leads, Norman on. Standby, head press, PT controls normal, box pumps off, auto feather off, engine temps pressures are checked. Ice protection, we're gonna go standard plus. And cabin engine temp controls are checked. After takeoff, checklist is complete. Check. Change my frequency 
Our cruising altitude for today will be 25,000 feet, which is flight level 250, and we'll be cruising at a speed of about 320 knots true or so once we level off. During cruise is where we eat some food, have some time for some chats, then we gather weather information and we start planning our approach. For today's flight, our arrival is the Adbox 7 into Calgary, and the approach is the Arnav RMP Yankee onto runway 35 left, which you'll hear me brief next before our descent.
Okay, I'll tell you a story while you eat. It's just not that big it. Okay. Alright. Bunny D. Add box 7 arrival into Calgary. RNF starts 10 2 Alpha. Effective 20. 25 42 contact Evans and arrival now. 1 2 0 4. Airport. Sit at 3606. 100 miles safe. 1 2 0 5. 25 42. Origin aircraft. Going inbound. Uh, Coded after his only bat here. Alsif, Seacan, Amuno, Advox, at or below flight level 2102 two flame. And then Ot Mag, Stella, Max 210 at 8000, hoping for the transition there. If not, we'll be Mesca, Max 210, and then Vectors. Uh, transition into the RNAV RPE key 35 left into Calgary. It's 12 24, 22nd of March 2019. Final fresh course is 345, we'll cross Erdal, our FAF at 5000, down to RNP.3, minimum of 3970. Uh, touchdown zone itself is at 3542. Uh, all quadrants for the MSA within the runway is 6800 feet. In the event of a miss, we'll climb to 4100, heading straight ahead, then climbing left turn to 7000, direct to Rec 7, and we'll enter a hold if we need to there. We do have authorization for this approach. This simultaneous uh, arrival is with 35 right? We're familiar with the uh, RMP, all users established procedure. Uh, planning to the transition there. Selling is a uh, radius to fix required, mandatory 8,000, max 210. Max 200 max 180, and then down to Erdal, to the runway. 35 left, we can expect Charlie 4 exit. 4, 2, 7, 0, 7, 2, 5, oh. uh, Unless they tell us something otherwise, and then we're going to gate 16. Perfect, done. Hello again everybody, just a final update from the flight deck. As we start our descent into Calgary, here are some answers to some frequently asked questions. I am using the Clarity Aloft headset, and yes, I do love it. I have a review video if you're interested on my channel. The long beep you'll hear on multiple occasions is our altitude alerter, and the callouts on the approach are the GPWS, or the Ground Proximity Warning System, alerting us of our height above ground. Both of these systems prompt us and increase our situational awareness. The winds for our landing into Calgary are 320, 22 knots, gusting 30 knots, so we have a left crosswind coming onto runway 35 left. I'm following instruments for the approach until the very last part where I transition to looking outside for visual cues. At 500 feet above ground is when I disengage the autopilot and I hand fly the rest of the approach and landing. Thank you so much for flying with us today. I hope you enjoyed your flight and I will see you soon.
and one three thousand. Send at one three thousand on court thirty one hundred. Thirteen thousand. Court thirty one hundred. Roger. Plan runway three five left. And are you planning the RNV? Awesome. Plan the RNV. Yankee Vice. Still on court thirty one hundred. Okay. Still on court thirty one hundred. Encore 3100, descend 10,000. Clear 10,000, Encore 3100. 10,000, also. Check 10,000, also. Encore 3100, flight present heading vectors for final, descend 9000. Present heading vectors to final, descend 9000, Encore 3100. On them heading cell. Check. Check, you said 9000? Yep. 9000 on cell. Check 9000 on cell. Just gonna activate the approach.
Charlie, check this up to news. Yeah, it's six. Four thirty one hundred, seven thousand five hundred. Seven thousand five hundred, encore thirty one hundred. Seven thousand five hundred, uh, alt cell. Check, seven thousand alt cell. Encore 3100, contact on Gravel 1, 2, 3, 8, 1, 0. Gravel 23.85, Encore 3100. Encore 3100, heading 010, ready to approach runway 35 left. Heading 010, cleared approach, runway 35 left, Encore 3100. I'll not heading in. Cross the FAF at 160 door contact tower now 184. Over the FAF 160 tower 18.4, encore 3100. Alright, slow in 160 knots. Calgary tower encore 3100, runway 35 left. Encore 3100, good day, Alpha Mirs 2996. Flying a dash mile final wind check 320, 20 gusting 30. I'll go to 3100, check number two.
3100, plan Charlie 4 for the exit, the wind street 2022 gust 30, clear to land, runway 35 left. Plan Charlie uh, 4 was in, clear to land 35 left on the core 3100. Flaps 15, conditionally res max, just landing checklist, check Charlie 4 exit. After landing control, extra on chest boners on alt radars off flaps zero. Ox pumps off yard amber off flight taxi taxi. Ice protection off. Yeah, I may bust tie tie. APU power leads mid and on. After landing, this is complete. 